the dietary guidelines for Americans recommend the maximum sodium intake of 2300 milligram per day. That is the amount of sodium in 5.8 grams or one teaspoon of table salt. Currently, adults in the U.S. eat an average of about 3400 milligram of sodium per day, which is about 50% more than the recommended amount. Sodium controls fluid balance in our bodies and maintains blood volume and blood pressure. Excessive sodium intake can cause fluid retention, leading to swelling of lower extremities and other tissues. High sodium diets are associated with an increased risk of developing hypertension, which is a major cause of stroke, kidney failure, and heart disease. Reduction of sodium intake lowers blood pressure and cardiovascular risk. Studies have shown that cutting down sodium intake by 1,200 mg per day could reduce 120,000 new cases of heart disease, 66,000 cases of stroke, nearly 100,000 heart attacks, and up to 92,000 deaths in the United States each year. Here are the guidelines on how to reduce sodium intake. Since over 70% dietary sodium comes from eating packaged and prepared foods, understanding the nutrition facts label helps you select low-sodium foods and cut down the sodium intake. This is an illustration of a nutrition facts label. The daily values are reference amounts of nutrients to consume or not to exceed each day. The daily value for sodium is less than 2300 mg per day. The percentage daily value for each nutrient in a certain food indicates how much you will have if you eat one serving of this particular food. Use percentage daily value to determine if a serving of the food contains too much sodium. Choose foods with 5% daily value or less of sodium per serving. Avoid foods that have 20% daily value or more of sodium per serving. Pay attention to the total number of servings you eat or drink. The more servings you have, the more sodium you will get. Make sure to eat no more than 100% daily value of sodium cumulatively each day. In addition, understanding the nutrients claims is also very important in choosing low-sodium foods. For example, salt-sodium-free foods means that the foods contain less than 5 mg of sodium per serving. Foods labeled as sodium-free, very low-sodium, and low-sodium are the preferred foods for low-sodium diet. Avoid or limit eating the salty six as identified by the American Heart Association. These six popular foods can add high levels of sodium to your diet. They are breads and rolls, pizza, sandwiches, cold cuts and cured meats, soup, burritos, and tacos. Instead, eat more home-cooked meals, like meals cooked from fresh ingredients and or foods with no added salt. Reduce the amount of salt used in cooking. Remove the salt shaker from the table. Instead, consider seasoning your foods with spices, herbs, lemon, garlic, ginger, vinegar, and pepper. Consider using low-sodium or no-sodium salt. Morton light salt contains 50% less sodium as compared to the regular salt. 11 ounces of Morton light salt costs about $2 at Walmart. No salt original does not have any sodium in it. It contains only potassium chloride. 11 ounces of this salt costs about $5 at Walmart. Because these salts contain potassium, Check with your doctor if you need to be on a low-sodium diet. In addition, avoid using the following foods, garlic salt, onion salt, MSG, soy sauce, etc. Do not use softened water for cooking and drinking since it contains added salt. Avoid medications which contain high sodium such as Alka-Seltzer Original. Each tablet of Alka-Seltzer Original or its generic version has an ingredient of 1916 mg sodium bicarbonate, which contains 524 mg sodium. Per manufacturer's instructions, people ages 12 to 60 can take two tablets every six hours. 
the maximum dose is eight tablets in a 24-hour period. For people older than 60, the maximum dose is four tablets in a 24-hour period. At a maximum dose of eight tablets a day, one will unknowingly take 4,200 mg sodium a day. This amount of sodium is significantly higher than the recommended 2,300 mg of sodium per day. Because of the large amount of sodium, this type of antacid should be avoided. In summary, adults in the U.S. eat an average of about 3,400 mg of sodium per day, which is about 50% more than the recommended amount of 2,300 mg of sodium. High sodium diets are associated with an increased risk of developing hypertension, which is a major cause of stroke, kidney failure, and heart disease. Reduction of sodium intake lowers blood pressure and cardiovascular risk. Strategies such as using percentage daily value on the nutrition facts label to select low-sodium foods, limiting the salty six, reducing the amount of salt used in cooking, using the salt substitutes, avoiding medications that contain large amounts of sodium, etc., can help achieve the recommended daily sodium intake.